everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your host Deeper Jungle and today I'm going to be doing another Call of Duty commentary and for today's commentary I'm going to be talking about the Call of Duty World War 2 beta, my opinions on weekend 1, and things I'm looking forward to about weekend 2. Also guys just to know about the gameplay that's on your screen right now and that is a M1 Grand gameplay here playing Arden's Forest and it's actually one of my favorite games that I played on the Call of Duty World War 2 beta. Of course I'm using the M1 Grand and I actually get a lot of kills. I even end up going on a 17 kill streak lapping my streaks getting multiple of them so yeah i hope you enjoyed that gameplay and yeah also guys if you're enjoying today's video don't forget to leave a like on it down below let's see if we can get 10 likes on today's video that'll be absolutely amazing and yeah let's get right into the video so if you did not know at the time you're recording this video the call of duty world war 2 beta is going to be ending pretty soon it is exactly going to be ending at 10 a.m pacific standard time so at the time you're recording this video there's not that much left of the beta until of course next weekend so i thought for today's video I talk about my opinions on weekend one and one thing that I really want to say about weekend one and that is I really am actually impressed with the beta the reason why I'm impressed and that is the Call of Duty World War 2 beta really does not feel like a beta it feels kind of like a full game and that's just because the maps and everything like that feel very solid and they don't really feel like they're in development for example if you were to play some other betas you will notice that the gameplay kind of feels not really there it feels like it has to be more fine-tuned however for the Call of Duty World War 2 beta it feels very very solid and that's one thing that I'm very impressed about. Another thing and that is another thing that I'm very happy about the Call of Duty World War 2 beta and that is I noticed that it really wasn't that buggy. For other betas in the past a lot of the times they're very buggy and there's a lot of glitches and things like that and for the Call of Duty World War 2 beta there really weren't that many glitches. From my experience with the game I never had any glitches or bugs however I know that they do exist and I have seen some videos of people flying around the map and getting on top of buildings however they weren't really that common and that's one thing that's really good. So so yeah, another thing that I want to talk about the Call of Duty World War 2 beta and that's going to be the weapons in the Call of Duty World War 2 beta actually feel really good and the weapon balance is actually very good. No weapon is really standing out as being overpowered. If you remember the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta, the MAA7 as well as the Razorback were actually very overpowered in the beta. However, as of right now, it doesn't really seem that there's a really overpowered gun that everyone's going to use. So that's actually really good as well as the guns actually play really well. They don't feel too weak as well as they don't feel like they kill people really quickly because that can be kind of annoying. Every single gun feels good and yeah. Now in this video I have gave the Call of Duty World War 2 beta a lot of praise. However now I'm going to be talking about some things I would like to see in the Call of Duty World War 2 beta weekend 2 that I didn't really like too much about weekend 1. It did not really feel like there was that much stuff to do in the Call of Duty World War 2 beta weekend 1. Of course the level cap was level 20 and then level 25. However once you played for a couple hours you'd be pretty close to level 20 or 25 and there weren't really that many many guns in the beta. I mean, when it comes to rifles, we had the M1 Grand, the STG-44, and the M1941. Those are good guns, however, there really weren't that many. Once you played a couple matches of the game, you'd find out your favorites and you really would just use them. However, I would have liked to have seen some more guns in the Call of Duty World War 2 beta, and that's what I'm really hoping for with Weekend 2. Hopefully, they add more guns like the Thompson submachine gun or the MP40 and things like that, or like the bar, and more score streaks, and more levels. That's one thing that I really do hope about weekend 2 and that's to just add more stuff in general that would be really awesome and overall i did have a very fun experience with the call of duty world war 2 beta i thought it was a lot of fun and i was overall very impressed with it and i cannot wait for call of duty world war 2 to come out in november because overall i think this game is really good i think it's definitely better than advanced warfare and i might be going out on a limb here however if sledgehammer games keeps up their good work i think it is quite possible that call of duty world war 2 might even be better than Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Again, I might be going out on a limb here and a lot of things can change. However, if Sledgehammer Games keep supporting their game, I think it is possible that it might be better than Black Ops 3. I'm just throwing it out there. So yeah, comment your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think about the Call of Duty World War 2 beta? So yeah, that's really been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please remember to leave a like as well as subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to click the bell button down below to gain notification every single time I upload a new video. So that's really been it for this video. I hope Hope to see you in the next one.